Hello and welcome back to Codecademy's Learn JavaScript. This is the function section, calling a function. As we saw in previous exercises, a function declaration binds a function to an identifier. However, a function declaration does not ask the code inside of the function body to run. It just declares the existence of the function. The code inside a function body runs or executes only when the function is called. To call a function in your code, you type the function name followed by parentheses. Our identifier here is greet world, and it's called using these parentheses right after it. So this function call executes the function body or all of the statements between the curly braces in the function declaration. So when we call greet world, it runs the code between the curly braces, which is this console.log hello world. So here, when we call get greeting, it will execute hello world. We can call the same function as many times as needed. Let's practice calling functions in our code. Our instructions say, imagine that you manage an online store. When a customer places an order, you send them a thank you note. Let's create a function to complete this task. To find a function called say thanks as a function declaration, in the function body of say thanks, add code such that the function writes the following thank you message to the console when called. Thank you for your purchase. We appreciate your business. So here we would do function say thanks. And we're going to console log whenever it's called this here. So whenever we call say thanks, it should log this out to the console. Zoom out and run it. We did pass to call say thanks to view the thank you message in the console. So down here, we can call it by its identifier. Run this, it should now log. We do get that log, we passed. Functions can be called as many times as you need them. Imagine that three customers placed an order and you want to send each of them a thank you message. Update your code to call say thanks three times. So here, we would repeat that. And that would run it three times. And it does run it three times. So what we're getting from this lesson is basically calling our function and we learned in the previous lesson how to declare it we understand now that it gets an identifier or a name and once we have that identifier we're able to call it by using the identifier followed by parentheses if you guys get that you guys get this lesson and i'll see you in the next one